Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today I want to show you the pixel glitch effect. So for this effect, first of all, we need to go into fusion. Now press shift and space by the same time and search for this place. Select this place and press add. After you've done that, add a fast noise node into the node field and select your fast noise node and press shift and space by again and search for mosaic blur. All right, select it and press add. Okay, now connect the mosaic blur node with the displace node. And now we are done with the node setup, so I select my fast noise node. With the fast noise selected, I go into the inspector and now I just press this log x y button. I decrease the x scale to 0 and I increase the y scale to about 2000. Then I change the angle to my liking. Alright, so now we are done with this node and I select my mosaic blur one node. Again, I go into the inspector and I change the pixel frequency to about 300. Okay, now I go to the displace node and go into the inspector. And here you can change the center x and center y values to your liking. And now the effect is done, but I want to show you some variations which you can also use. So I go to my fast noise node and I open the inspector and now you can change the center x and center y values. So as you can see, you can animate this if you want and you can also decrease the detail to about 0.5. So the edges won't be this sharp anymore. In addition to that, you can increase or decrease the contrast to your liking. You can change the angle of your particle glitch effect and you can create an animation with the seeth value. Then you can go to your mosaic blur one node and you can adjust the aliasing value. So if you decrease this value, then the pixel lines will shrink down to pixel blocks. And if you increase this value, then the pixel lines will be longer and smoother. And now I go to my displace node and here you can change the refraction strength to your liking. And out of these three nodes, I just created a pixel glitch preset, which you can find on my website. So you don't need to do these steps over and over again. You can just use my pixel glitch preset. And in here, we've got the most important sliders from these three nodes. So check the first link in the description. Okay, so I hope this video has helped you. If so, then leave a like or sub to my channel. And if you want to learn more about DaVinci Resolve, then just watch one of these two videos. Alright, thanks for your attention, stay creative and bye.